a monster walk with a band, start with a band either above your knees, which will be easier, or above your ankles, which is going to be harder. For the elastic bands that I have, for me now, above my knee is a little bit too easy for the one I'm using, so I'd have to either go to one of the more advanced elastic bands. I also have thick cloth bands, which are too strong to use at my ankles, so I have to use those above my knees. So figure out if you're just beginning, you can start with it above your knees, and if you've got really thick bands, you may also need to do that above your knees as well. Okay, from here, soften your knees, squeeze your glutes, hinge forward slightly, that'll help with balance, engage your core, open your chest, draw your shoulder blades together, and press your shoulders down. From here, take a big diagonal step out to the side. As you step, notice your feet will still point forward. What's gonna be really tempting is to turn our toe out to the side. Don't do it. Feet point directly forward. We also wanna make sure that this trailing leg continues to point forward and doesn't cave in. Whether the band's above your knees or at your ankles, that's really important. Now with this trailing leg, we're gonna step forward and you can tap your toes to the floor to regain a little bit of balance there, or you can keep your foot lifted, but we don't want our feet and legs to come too close together. One, it might make the band fall, and two, it loses the tension in the band. We wanna keep tension going through that band the entire time, so keep some distance between where your feet and where your legs end up here. All right, now this leg becomes the lead leg. Step out of that diagonal, and now bring your trailing leg in. Repeat. As you go through this, you also want to make sure that you're not bouncing, okay? So we're keeping everything really stable and strong from our hips up as we move our lower body. 